Hey, what's up? Eidner Mert here. Uh, I thought today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to show you how I practice. Uh, usually when I tape instruction videos, you know, I, I <clears throat> show you things I, I worked on in the past, sometimes uh, years ago, and um, this time is different because I'm, I'm going to show you something I'm working on right now. I uh, have been working on in the last couple of weeks. I came up with this um, pretty cool I think pretty cool uh, paradiddle uh, kind of finger finger technique control exercise thingy and uh, well it's a lot of fun it's it's challenging it's not easy to play uh, throughout the video I'm gonna I'm gonna comment and, and explain what I'm what I'm actually doing there so um, yeah watch me struggle a little bit here um, you know it's a practice tape um, maybe I, uh, I tape another video in a couple of months when I'm really good at it. Okay, check it out. Uh, see you next time. Alright guys, so here's here's what I'm trying to achieve with this exercise, uh, developing uh, speed with uh, both of my hands. Uh, so the, the sticking pattern, uh, well it works like this, it's, it's based on a paradiddle, um, consists of three different parts. The first part is a regular paradiddle, played right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, with an accent on the first and the fifth one. So you go loud, left, right, right, loud, right, left, left, and so on. Um, the second pattern is uh, based on quintuplets, so um, sequence of five notes. Um, again, the, it's, it's based on a paradiddle, and all I did is adding another stroke to it, uh, like basically expanding the double into a triple stroke. So the sticking pattern goes like this, right, left, right, 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 and then left, right, left, left, left. Okay, based on quintuplets, so uh, you have to make sure when you play this along to a click track that you actually, uh, well, playing quintuplets, play it a, a bit faster than the, the regular paradigm based on 16th note. Uh, so the third element is again a paradiddle by, but I added another note to it, um, ending up with four right hand and four left hand notes. Uh, so it's based on a paradiddle. And you go right, left, right, 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 and then left, right, left, 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 left. Uh, so it's based on 16th note tablets. Um, adds more speed to it, of course. Uh, throughout practicing, I, I usually, uh, I think most of the time I, I play each one twice. So I play the regular paradiddle twice, then the quintuplet paradiddle twice, and the sextuplet paradiddle twice. Uh, sometimes after the six tuplets I go straight back to the regular paradiddle, sometimes I go back to the quintuplet paradiddle. <laughs> doesn't really matter, it's, um, it's good to have a variety of combinations, good to entertain. Um, then I work at different speeds, I think throughout this video here I'm, I'm not actually changing the speed, but uh, usually I, I kind of you know, warm up at a slower speed and then try to reach the, the peak and then go back, play a bit slower again, work on my on my peak tempo again, things like that. Um, yeah, that, that's about it, I think. Uh, it's, it's really fun to expand a paradiddle like that. Very gr uh, good exercise for finger control technique and, and rebound techniques. And uh, that's really these kind of moves. Uh, um, 
Reverb is something I I use more and more in my filter when I, when I play drum solos. And, uh, well, it's I think it's a great workout. So have fun, give it, give it a shot. See you next time.